now we will be discussing all the equations in the pharmacology see all the equation which we discussed till now they are given at the end of the first date okay so you can read it from there so let's start the pharmacology see the first thing is volume of distribution and what does the formula says it is the amount of drug in the body divided by plasma drug concentration now instead of remembering this uh, definition or this formula let's try to see practically what does it mean the volume of distribution see the volume of distribution means in how much volume the drug is uh, the drug spreads see if the drug remains confined to the plasma okay that is see this is blood vessel if the dr drug remains confined to the blood vessel it remains in the plasma only then it means its volume of distribution is low okay if the drug moves from plasma into interstitial fluid and if and then into inter intracellular fluid then it means it has higher volume of distribution it is distrib distributing widely okay so if it is going from plasma to interstitial fluid or to intracellular fluid then the volume of distribution is high now see on what factors does the volume of distribution depends see volume of distribution depend upon see if the substance is small the volume of distribution will be high if the substance is big volume of distribution will be less also it depends upon the charge see if the substance is lipophilic then the volume of distribution will be high okay it will be easily able to cross all the membranes if the substance is hydrophilic then the volume of distribution will be less so if the substance or the drug is small and it is lipophilic then it is most more likely to reach from plasma to intracellular fluid okay so just keep that in mind now the next next thing is half life okay what is the formula of half life first let's say see what's what is half life see the half life is the amount of time that is needed okay to decrease the plasma concentration to its half from the initial concentration see let's simplify it let's say the initial concentration of the drug is 300 mg per ml let's say okay now how much time does it take to reach from 300 mg per ml to 150 mg per ml this is called half life okay the amount of time required for the plasma concentration of the drug to become half of its initial concentration this is simply half life t half okay see okay now let's see uh, the formula and how, let's see how is it derived see the t half life is equal to 0 0.693 or you can take 0 0.7 for simplicity multiply by volume of distribution and divided by clearance now see uh, let's say there is some amount of x amount of drug in the plasma okay in the blood vessel now it can go to two uh, it has means two fates okay it can go to two targets either it can go into the cells okay the target cells or mostly it will be adipose tissue for storage okay or it can go to the kidney or other ways like liver or anything but let's just skip for simplicity purpose as kidney so see the drug can either go into cells okay or it can go to kidney for excretion okay now see if the drug is going towards the cell it will be stored there okay and if it is crossing all the barriers and it, it is reaching the cell it means that its volume of distribution is high okay so if the volume of distribution is high then it means it will reach the cells for example adipose tissue and it will be stored there if it is stored there then its half life will increase sorry now see if the if more amount of drug is going towards the kidney that is if more amount of drug is cleared then there will be less amount of drug left in the blood vessel and thus the half life of the drug will be decreased so if drug is going towards the cell that is if it has higher volume of distribution then the half life will increase that's why see the half life is directly proportional to volume of distribution if the drug is going towards the kidney and excreted then its concentration in the blood vessel will decrease quickly and thus if there is high clearance then 
the half life will decrease so that's why half life is inversely proportional to the clearance now let's move on to clearance what is clearance see it is again the volume of plasma okay it is volume of plasma it's not the amount of drug it's the volume of plasma that is cleared per unit time now clearance is equal to rate of elimination of drug divided by plasma drug concentration now see what is the rate of elimination of drug it is the amount of drug that is cleared per minute what is clearance it is the amount of plasma that is cleared per minute for example okay so this is the amount of plasma cleared this is amount of drug cleared okay now the thing where most of the people confuse is this clearance is equal to volume of distribution multiplied by the constant now most of the people think how the volume of distribution is proportional to clearance so see don't overthink on this topic i'll give you a simple example and if you understand then that example then just keep it simple okay don't overthink and remember it in that way for example let's say if there is a drug whose volume of distribution is 1 liter okay let's say drug 1 okay its volume of distribution is 1 liter there is drug 2 whose volume of distribution is let's say 4 liter okay now let's say the kidney is processing 5 liter of blood okay the kidney is processing 5 liter of blood so in first case if the kidney is processing 5 liter of blood how much blood is actually cleared the answer will be only 1 liter because in rest of the 4 liter there is no drug present okay so how much blood will be cleared in first case it will be just 1 liter now let's say in the next case again the kidney is clearing 5 liter of plasma okay but how much of the plasma uh, sorry blood will be really cleared it will be 4 liters because the 1 liter remaining does not contain the drug so see here the volume of distribution is less so there is less clearance here the volume of distribution is high so there is high clearance see remember this is simple example and this will help you to clear this confusion again see out of 5 liter that is filtered by the kidney let's say only 1 liter is the amount of plasma that is cleared from the drug while here it is 4 4 liter of plasma that is cleared from the drug so more the volume of distribution more is the clearance remember this now see now we'll discuss loading dose and maintenance dose okay what is the single most important difference between loading dose and maintenance dose it is clearance see maintenance dose depends upon the clearance while the loading dose does not depend upon the clearance so it simply means that if a patient is having kidney problems or liver problems okay then the loading dose will not change because it does not depend upon the clearance while there we have to adjust the maintenance dose this is the first thing now what is the difference between loading dose and maintenance dose see loading dose is the first dose okay loading dose is the first dose given first dose of the drug and maintenance dose is the rest of the all the doses that we give to maintain the plasma concentration of the drug all other doses okay now see uh, on what factors this loading dose depends first thing is the plasma concentration which we want to achieve okay both maintenance dose and the loading dose both depends on that let's take a simple example suppose in first example example number one you want to maintain you want to keep the plasma concentration as uh, let's say 100 mg per ml okay and in second example you want to keep the plasma concentration as 100 mg per ml so tell me in which one do you need higher loading dose and higher maintenance dose okay definitely the answer will be in the 100 mg per ml so the more the concentration of uh, plasma concentration of the drug you need to keep the higher will be maintenance dose and loading dose now uh, volume of distribution see 
if the volume of distribution is high then the loading dose will be high let's see how see this example see this is the blood vessel okay see this is the blood vessel now if you are giving 100 mg of drug okay let's say out of that 10 mg remain 10 mg remains in the plasma while rest of the 90 mg they leave the blood they leave the blood okay they leave the blood vessel so if you want to achieve a concentration of 50 mg okay then you have to give a loading dose of 500 500 mg just for simplicity purpose remember this okay then only the plasma concentration will become 50 mg so see if the volume of distribution is higher that is if the drug is leaving the blood vessel very quickly okay then you have to keep the loading dose higher okay if the volume dis volume of distribution is less let's suppose another example if out of 100 mg of blood let's say 50 mg is remaining in the blood vessel the rest of the 50 mg is uh, leaving the blood vessel so see in, in first case we have to keep loading doses 500 mg to maintain a concentration of 50 mg in second case just by giving 500 mg of blood you can maintain the concentration of 50 mg because here the volume of distribution is low okay and the here the volume of distribution is high so higher see, higher the volume of distribution higher the loading dose should be if the volume of distribution is high you should keep the loading dose high to maintain the uh, plasma concentration of the drug now let's come to maintenance dose we have already discussed about the plasma concentration which we need to achieve and also about clearance the third thing is uh, this t this is the interval dosage interval okay now see it is directly proportional to the maintenance dose so it means that if the dosage interval is higher okay the interval between two doses is higher then the maintenance dose should be higher so let's take an example again let's assume that in one patient first patient patient one you are giving drug after every two hours okay you are giving drug after every two hours and in patient two you are giving drug sorry, you are giving drug after uh, every 10 hours okay in which patient do you think the dose should be kept higher to maintain a plasma blood blood concentration of our choice the answer will be in patient 2 in patient 2 you are giving uh, the drug after every 10 hours so a lot of drug will be eliminated while in patient 1 we are giving it after every 2 hours okay so the not a lot of drug will be eliminated and that's why we will be able to maintain the plasma drug concentration of our choice by giving just small maintenance dose so see higher higher the interval between two doses higher the maintenance dose will be okay so that was all about loading dose and interval dose now see i have not discussed uh, biostat and genetics that genetics formula hardy weinberg equation here because it will be too lengthy so we will discuss that in some other video okay